An electric mountain bike is an amazing way to open up a whole new world of riding. Knowing what sort of EMTB to get can be a bit of a confusing minefield, however. In this video, I'm going to explain the differences between a trail EMTB, this Merida E140, and an enduro EMTB, this Merida E160, so that you know which one has the edge in what sort of riding situation, so that you can choose the right bike for your needs. First up, let's cover what these bikes have in common. Well, besides the lovely sparkly paint jobs. Like all Merida E mountain bikes, they use a natural feeling Shimano pedal assist drive system with a high capacity internal battery hidden away in the down tube. In the case of the EP8 system fitted to both of these bikes, that means a substantial 85 Newton meters of extra torque on top of whatever you're putting out, plus a 630 watt hour battery that'll give you a serious boost to the amount of meters you can climb and descend in a ride. Both of the bikes I have here have a lightweight carbon fibre front triangle paired to a durable aluminium rear end, although we do make full aluminium alloy versions of both. The rear suspension is our proven linkage driven single pivot system and we use mixed wheel sizes across the range with a larger 29 inch front wheel to roll over obstacles more easily and a smaller 27.5 rear wheel that's extra tough and adds agility. These bikes get the full benefit of all our e-bike know-how. There's our Fermo gate system that prevents the battery from overheating to maximise its lifespan, plus our internal block headset prevents the fork crown from damaging the frame in a crash. So, what are the differences between a trail e-bike and an enduro e-bike? Well, the biggest difference is in the amount of suspension travel on offer. There are a whole host of other differences in kit and geometry too. Let's take a look at the e-enduro bike first. As the name suggests, this E160 has 160mm of fork travel with 150mm at the rear. That's 20mm more at both ends than our e-trail bike, the E140, which delivers 140mm at the front and 133 at the rear. Having more travel means more ability to hit things harder and faster, which is perfect for trails where both the descents and climbs are likely to be rougher and tougher with rock and root infested sections. The extra travel and more extreme use means heavier duty rear shocks that have piggyback reservoirs are fitted to keep the damping consistent, even on very rough and very long descents. The E160 range of bikes also get forks with larger diameter upper legs, 38 millimeters on this bike, so that the fork tracks true through the turns and under heavy braking. To cope with the sort of terrain an e-enduro bike will be used on, this bike needs tough, griffy tires. This E160 is fitted with aggressively treaded soft compound Maxxis tyres with a reinforced double down casing. They offer up loads of predictable grip and designed to come through the roughest rock gardens unscathed. However, the downside of this tacky heavy duty rubber is more rolling resistance and weight, which impacts the bike's range. This is where the trail e-bike comes in. This E140 has less suspension travel but because it's designed for use on trails that are less wild than the E160, it's fitted with faster rolling tyres with less aggressive tread and lighter casings. These Continental Trail Kings are still grippy and tough, but they roll much faster than the tyres on the E160, so the amount of riding you'll get from a single charge is higher. The suspension is also different with an inline rear shock and a fork with smaller diameter upper legs, 36mm on this bike, to help reduce weight. Another big difference between these two bikes is in the geometry. The E140 has a shorter wheelbase for more agile handling, while the E160 has a longer reach and slacker head angle for improved stability when you're in rough, demanding terrain. It's also got a slightly higher bottom bracket height, which improves ground clearance. So, who should choose an E140 over an E160 and vice versa? Well, if you're all about going for big days out and you want to maximise your time on the bike, then the lighter weight, longer range and more playful feel of the E140 might suit you better. Less travel means it's a bit of a rougher ride on really extreme terrain, but it's still an extremely capable mountain bike for people who want to maximise the distance they can ride. If you're all about throwing yourself down the toughest descents going and you want to repeat that all day long, then the E160 is your natural partner. The extra travel, tough kit and stable handling means it'll back you up on the most difficult descents and it'll get you up to the toughest climbs too. While the scales are tipped in the balance of downhill fun versus maximum efficiency, the large internal battery will keep on giving you a helping hand for a big day out regardless. Anyway, 
If you'd like to know more about the E140 and E160 range of bikes, check out the link in the description below. There's also a link to where you can find your national distributor who can help with pricing and more. If you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to our channel by following the link up here to stay up to date with all things Merida and take a peek at our e-bike playlist here for more electrifying videos. Sorry about that. Anyway, I hope this video has explained the differences between the two styles of bike on Helfer here and helped you decide which one you might be best suited to. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments down below.